underway with Super Bowl 53 from Atlanta. Here is Patterson. What's up, guys? We're here watching the Super Bowl. It's a Monday morning. Been out here a week already, getting acclimated to the time change, getting acclimated uh, just overall, you know, getting acclimated to this nice weather. Honestly, I, I can live here in Melbourne, man. This is a beautiful place. Amazing food, amazing training, great people. Everybody's so nice, you know. Every, even though a lot of them are, are going for Rob, everybody's wishing me good luck. Doom! Damn! Down the middle, down the barrel. Like a straight left down the barrel. Get out of here, son. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Not the bah. This game is over, man. New England does it again. Congratulations, Dana. <laughs> So we're going to dress up for... Yeah, we're doing quite a arrival. Yep. Cool. I'll get you something in a stone colour, which will be good, and then I'll get you a nice belt, nice shirt, nice pair of shoes and a blazer. Yeah. And we'll do that sort of look. Very nice. I'll get you to hold them. Yeah, i got no idea. I'm no. Person, so. <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought, brought my girlfriend. No, that's all right. I'll get you to go up the stairs, put them on. I'll get you a shirt. Jesus. I'll get you some shoes as well. Good, come out. Did you do that during training? <laughs> Not wrestling. I've never been cut doing wrestling before, and I shot a tape so down and went straight into someone's knee. He absolutely loved it. You do. I go, oh, what happens if it opens up? I say, well, the fight would be more exciting. <laughs> you got it, you're fighting against Sam Alvey. He's an American, South Ball. It's very, very hard. So the, the moral of the story is obviously not to be hit. Yeah, exactly. Jimmy, you just stand back. Just stand back. What I've tried to do is work with your complexion and your hair. Yeah. So the lighter colours are nice for you without washing you out, but it's nice and fresh and it's young, which is pretty much what you are. Very nice. Yeah. break all the cameras and stuff. So Melby's is a crown. Have you seen his um, interviews about me? It's just a nice, I've, I've fucking got to be careful I don't start rooting for him. <laughs> don't fall in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching his stuff last night again. And his left hand does come up. If you have a look, it does come up. It's very A-frame. Yeah, well, even as you say, even if I yeah. right. tape that away. Oh, when he throws the front leg, leg kick, it, it doesn't even bend his knee. It's like a, it's like he's hitting a solid leg and pulling at the same time. It's more of a, a sweep. It's trying to sweep, yeah. It's, it's like in between between a sweep and a kick, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. And that's, but what Volante did in the second round, which was smart of him, rather than standing there, he bent his knee. Every time they'd come, he bent his knee. So he put his weight on his front foot, so that it wasn't much moving. He wasn't taking that leg yeah. away. That's what he. That's how he defended it. Yeah. But you can defend it by doing that. I like watching Volante though, because Volante is similar, similar build. Very, very similar. Except I think I've got a bit more with my kicks. Yeah. Fucking right from hell. Yeah. Thanks, man. I'll see you soon. Take care, mate. All the best. This is my first time basically out of country. I've never been anywhere besides the United States. I really want to see the beach, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. I'm fighting a local here from Australia. Her name's Nadia Kasim. She's undefeated, so I get to take a local out. I've fought people in their hometowns before. Um, I, I know a lot of people are going to be rooting for her, but I feel like it's just going to give me more drive to get the finish. It's something, you know, you always dream of doing when you first start this sport is being that big of a name and getting more well known. Woo. Had to make it a little entertaining for us. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, this is going to be fun. 
Yay, sweet ass. Oh, man, perfect. Yeah, easy. Uh, the day was good. Uh, our flight got delayed, um, but we got told about it. So, yeah, we just get a training in this morning before we came through. So, uh, we got slight work this morning, move around, just have fun with the crew, say goodbye, and then to the airport, and everything's been smooth. There we go. The artist said he thinks Mr. Silva stood him up. Been waiting at the wall for a few hours from an artist called Lush Sucks. <laughs> well, he's cool. He just did like a little portrait of um, me and Silva kind of embodying our, uh, I don't know, part of our persona, part of our character. Yeah, that's cool. Like Spider, you know, Spider Man and me being the avatar. My dad got 10 out of 13 of the last card as well. Yeah. He watches all the UFCs. Now he's on point. Ever since I became heavily involved in MMA, he's he and my mom, they're like the biggest MMA fans. So they watch everything. Even if I'm not on the card, they'll watch it and then they'll watch any middleweights at whatever level on the card and tell me how I could beat them. Just in case. And yeah, they're like my other coaches, my my secret weapons. <laughs> Today we're at 10 Planet Melbourne with my buddy Frank and um, you know uh, I'm a 10 Planet black belt myself and you know Eddie, Eddie uh, has 10 Planet schools all over the world you know what I mean and, and we all follow the same program and and kind of just feels like a whole family uh, when it comes to training, uh, you know, outside of, of, of Eddie's school. We all feel like a family. It is, it is our idea to share knowledge with you guys, to share energy with you guys. We believe Kelvin for sure is going to be the next UFC champ. And you are here today. Uh, thank you, Fred. Thank you for the thank house. You, for thank you very much. You know, we talk about the, the, the greats. We talk about the gladiators of our of our art of MMA, and and Calvin's right up there. And, and to have Professor Cadero here and some of his top students here at the school, it's just insane for us. So it's a great honor for us and a privilege, and we're loving every minute of it. <laughs> These guys made me feel right at home, and the energy in here was awesome. That's a big difference uh, when it comes to training, you know, mentally, physically, like it's, it, it's, it feels good. First difference, one step, second difference. He is important thing is keeping his mind on the belt, his mind on the victory, his mind on the war. For sure we expect for a war, we respect the champ, but we believe Kelvin come to be the, the champ for a long, long time. Tempo. 